For me, one of the best things about being involved in St. Thomas is it's an opportunity to really get involved with an organization that helped form who I am today. Who Mike Felto is today is someone St. Thomas can count on. We're at table nine now, I think. To put a table together for First Friday. He's a regular, regular. He comes every month. Make sure people get there and then make them feel at home. Yeah, I should come over and say hi. I look at it as an opportunity to gather a bunch of my old classmates. Uh, I also invite a bunch of my business associates and just general friends. I have these four tables. So at any particular month, I host a table or two of friends that are half alumni and half just friends. And uh, for me, too, it's a way to kind of show off my Tommy pride. I got a lot of purple on. That Tommy pride carries over at Felto's insistence to the entire class of 1981. He was its president. Mike served on the alumni board before I did, but he convinced me that I should be on the alumni board because we needed some more class of 81 members on the alumni board to give them the best vision. So um, many of us have served thanks to Mike's encouragement over the years. Oh, you want 20 tickets? No, they're $3 a piece. We've kind of even got a little running thing with the class of 56 that Jerry Appleby and Tom Winkles kind of started to see who's got the most uh, classmates on that list of uh, honorees at the St. Thomas days, and I think we just overtook class of 56 by one. What do you need there? That competition used to extend to homecoming. And whose tent could draw the biggest crowd? Jeez. Homecoming, alumni board, golf tournament, development campaign kickoff, Dan Butner's book signing, Monsignor Lavin's birthday party. Felto has been there. I think what St. Thomas instills in you is that you, you have a lot of gifts. Uh, everybody has their own gifts, and you want to take those gifts and make a difference. And, get involved in organizations and your community and your church and give back a, a little bit uh, when you can and how you can. People want to know what he's interested in. I think they want to know what he values and I think they think, well, if Felto's involved, I'm going to get on board. It's going to be a good time and, and we're going to do some good while we're at it. How you doing? Felto goes at it with a half a dozen charitable causes downtown including the Basilica Block Party in Minneapolis. So my extracurricular activities, instead of going bowling or playing sports or going out to movies, are, are getting involved in some charities uh, in town. I try to be involved in organizations that make a difference in the community. Making a difference in the St. Thomas community is the trademark of this year's recipient of the Monsignor James Lavin Award. I enjoy kind of doing that volunteer thing, but it's really rewarding for me too to see how St. Thomas has touched so many people in this community.